Northrop YF-23A would have looked like this if it's present today in the U.S. Air Force. The Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition, the YF-23, has become one of the most enigmatic and misunderstood flying machines of the jet fighter age. Today, many are quick to proclaim that it deserved to win against Lockheed's YF-22. That is certainly debatable. Yet one of the questions asked the most is what would an F-23A have looked like? The F-22A changed significantly in form from its YF-22 technology demonstrator. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. With that in mind set out to leverage an array of sources, including the actual blueprints for the proposed pre-production of F-23A, and able to bring the super fighter that could have been to life nearly three decades after it was passed over by the U.S. Air Force. In this very special installment in ongoing YF-23, Warzone worked with famous aerospace artist. Adam Birch of Hangar B Productions, to show the world exactly what the F-23A would be, or at least could have been. The process to create these renderings was painstaking, to say the least. Every detail available was poured over to give birth to the most accurate portrayal anywhere of what this aircraft would have looked like. Here are some thoughts from Adam Birch on his experience raising the F-23A from the dead. Bringing the F-23A Black Widow 2 to life, I drew on my own experience as a professional aerospace engineer, amateur historian, middling pilot, and terrible meteorologist to produce something I hope will do her designers, engineers, maintainers, and pilots proud. Once again, this is not fan art from the imagination, this is a realization of the real thing as it was going to be. Only the smallest details where specific information wasn't available were filled in with care. Behold, Northrop's masterpiece that, the F-23A Black Widow 2. You will notice that the F-23A would have been longer and more smoothly molded than the prototype technology demonstrator that came before it. The YF-23's big trapezoidal nasals would become more blended into the F-23's fuselage and its engines would be spaced closer together at slightly towed-in angles. Without the requirements for thrust reversers, which was baked into the YF-23 design but the hardware was never fitted, a more efficient low observable flap nozzle could be installed and the flat exhaust troughs would get updated heat resistant coverings. The F-23's nose would be redefined to accommodate a powerful active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar and its intakes would be drastically changed. In their place was a diverterless supersonic intake-like configuration similar to what is seen today on the F-35 and J-20. The F-23's boat tail would also be simplified, with a simpler overall W shape, with the additional indentures found on its YF-23 predecessor. The F-23A's weapons capacity was expanded and offered more relevant weapons storage than the single bay found on the YF-23, including much larger weapons than what the F-22 is capable of carrying today due to the greater depth of the F-23's rear weapons bay. The refueling port would be moved over from the aircraft's center line to its left over wing shoulder position, offering pilots a similar tanking picture as the F-15 Eagle. The landing gear would also be strengthened and the ventral barrel section would feature a less acute and more blended mold line. Beyond being more refined, the F-23 is a narrower and somewhat elongated design iteration of the YF-23, which would have likely helped improved its already blistering kinematic performance and excellent radar cross-section metrics than the F-22 Raptor. A huge thanks to Adam Birch for showing us what could have been by bringing the F-23A to life in these wonderful images. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, 
and subscribe.